All right, no, we're, we're playing our St. Patrick's Day movement game. So we're gonna roll the dice uh, and whatever color it lands on, we're gonna pick up that clover Dad. and we're gonna do what it no, says on the clover. All right, Ben's Smart. turn. Blue. Blue. What does it say? Will the world win? Let's read it together. Write the word win. It's my word. Wait until Ben's done. So we're, we're practicing some writing now. We're using a vertical surface, if you have one, such as an easel or a chalkboard. We like to use short pieces of chalk. W, so let's put the word up here to use as a model. It's my turn. So you make sure you're writing it. W. It's my turn. Yeah. Ben's finishing his turn. What am I the word? W H. <laughs> what am I e the word, mommy? N. Did I win. the word go wild? Teddy, relax. What am I the word? So again, we're using short pieces of chalk which promotes the proper grip for using writing tools. Mommy, because mommy, when there's not a big piece get. of chalk, you can't mommy, use your whole what? hand. You're forced to pinch mommy, those fingers. What, mommy. Then we'll, we'll read it anyway, honey. It's okay. <laughs> Again, while you're doing this, try to, encourage, try to encourage proper letter formation. You can refer to your child's teacher. They might have some good resources. I can post some good resources. Most letters start at the top. So if you see your child starting from the bottom, um, you might just want to double check to see what the proper letter formation is. All right, Teddy, your turn. Whoa, 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 oh my God, what? Ollie, you're wrecking the joint. Okay, it's okay. I can still read it even though it's wrecked. Go ahead, roll it. Purple. Purple, fine purple. Butterfly pose. I read it. Butterfly pose. Very good. Ben, can you show him what the butterfly po pose looks like I know. in yoga? Oh, yes. you do? Yes. Oh, that's Superman. Okay, ready? You're going to sit like this on your bottom. Oh, I... Kissing feet. Make those wings with your arms. Good. Don't really kiss your feet. You with do it this. too, Tech Ben. We're all gonna do butterfly. Say don't really kiss your feet. No, it's called kissing feet because it looks kinda like your feet are together and kissing. Ollie, are you doing butterfly pose too? Okay. Mom. Butterfly, butterfly, flying all around. Butterfly, butterfly, landing on the ground. Butterfly, butterfly, flying in the air. Butterfly, butterfly. Oops, it's in my hair. Ah, 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 choo! We need a dice! Ollie, bring back the dice. Bring it back. Oh, no grabbing, no grabbing. Okay, now it's Ben's turn. I, <clears throat> I throwed it to him. Red. Red. I already did that. There's one right there, honey. I already did that. No, you didn't do that one. See? Jump up and down while counting by tens to 100. You did fives, you didn't do tens. Ready? Jump up and down, counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job. So just some ideas you can put on these cards. Um, you know, check with your child's teacher to see what they're learning. But many kindergartners are learning counting by fives, counting by tens. It's just a good way of incorporating um, movement activity, pairing it with language. Okay, Teddy's turn. Purple. Purple. Butterfly pose. Hmm. We already did that one. Roll it again. See if you get a different color. Green. It was okay. 
Did green. you point it at the camera? Yeah, don't don't throw it so high so it hits the light. Okay, uh, green. Go pick up a green clover. The other side. Frog pose. Frogs. Ben, can you help Teddy? No, I don't help. have to. Oh, you know what frog pose looks like? Yes. Okay. No. Put it down. Ready? Ben, you're, you're showing too. Good. So you want to... Good, and you can do ribbit. frog jumps. Ribbit. 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 I'm just running the pose. Ribbit. ribbit. That's not frog pose. So you stand up. You can point your, your toes out like that. Bend your knees all the way down so you're in squatting. And then your hands in front. Ribbit. Ribbit. That's what Ribbit. I did. Okay, so some good things to put on these cards are some yoga poses. You can look up just children's yoga poses online. A lot of your that children will be familiar with the poses. We do it in the preschools and Holyoke that Public is, Schools. And they'll, they'll really get a kick out of maybe singing the songs. Wait, wait. Showing you all they know about yoga. Purple. Ooh, roll again. We already did the purple one. Now I put this together last minute, so if you have some time, maybe add a few more choices for each color. I think I did all of these. Orange. So really, the only material you need is some paper. You can cut them in fun shapes. I think I did all of these. Um, good visual perceptual. They're scanning the floor. Pick up a, a big orange, honey. Wow. If you don't have a big fancy dice like that, just um, put little pieces of no, paper, no, colored paper, in a paper bag, that and you can the pull them out. Three jumping, jacks. Three jumping jacks. All right. So let's Ready? go. One, two, One, two three. three. Good job. Ellie, can you do a jumping jack? Good. So again, this, this activity can be really graded to any grade phone. level, any ability. If phone. you have children with multiple ages, like I do, I have a Mom, almost six-year-old and a three-and-a-half-year-old. Um, you, yes, you can make different sizes, so that kind of lets them know Mom, if the smaller yeah. ones are for someone and the bigger ones are for someone else. Yeah. All right, Teddy, go ahead. Blue. Blue. Oh, that's the blue one right there. That's what? a good one. Let's get this one. We didn't have this one filmed, so I want both of you to show me Superman pose. This is a well, great I pose. Want to do Superman We're going to do pose. it again for the camera, honey. This is a great pose that really helps strengthen the core muscles, which are so important for children <coughs> to be able to have good fine motor skills, even to just be able to sit upright in their seat at school, which is something that's really hard for some kids. And it is. So, so Teddy, you can see my three and a half year old here is struggling a little. We might need to do some more core exercises. Ben, hold it up. Ready? All the way. Lift up those arms. Lift up those legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. And if you don't have a, a walking toddler who's, you know, kind of wrecking the place, it might be a little more organized than this. But we're having fun. All right. Maybe one more turn each. I think we're running out of cards. Green. Well, there's a couple small green ones here you can use. Write the word more. Yeah. So again, using that vertical surface, if you don't have an easel or a chalkboard, you can just tape a piece of paper to a wall. I'm gonna do. Or if you have a clipboard, you can have your child write while laying on their tummy, which is another great. Mommy, there's no more colors um, I can do. Strengthening for no four, we call it tummy time. Do, Mom. Okay, then we might be all done. Well, again. Um, I just encourage that proper letter formation. So if you notice your child is starting letters from the bottom, you might just want to double check 
with your child's teacher, or you can look online. There's some great online resources um, just to ch check what letter formation is. Okay? Teddy, put it down. I think you got all of them. Did you get all the cards? Looks like you did. There's one more green one left. Do you want to turn over that little green one? Yeah. Again, I use... Um, I use the list of words from Ben's, my kindergartner right here. His classroom teacher gave me a list of sight words for um, kindergarten that he's working on in the class right now. So I use those words for him to write. So it's really tiny in the curriculum. All right, let's read this. Last one. Find two ways to make 10. Ooh. Oh, I know this one. So this is something that Ben's working on in Mrs. O'Donnell's class. At Ian White, they're decomposing numbers, finding way, different ways to make 10. Ollie, come back here. Oh, I got a runaway toddler. Ollie! Ollie, come here! Come back here, you rascal! Okay. Okay, great. So this here is a perfect example of some common number reversals. Ben still quite often needs a model to show him which direction to write his fives and his sixes. So I'm just gonna give him a little gentle reminder. And he's gonna fix them. Something that can be frustrating for children. Um, but Ben, you did it. Five plus five equals 10. And that number down there, it looks like a two, but I actually know um, he's meaning to write a different number. What number is that right there, honey? Oh yeah, two. What number is it supposed to be? Six. Six, so he meant to write a six. Ollie, come back. I'm with you. I gotta go get the baby, he's asleep. I'm with you all with my five and a six. Ollie.